What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G. We're gonna do a vlog. There's a specific reason why we're doing this vlog. Yeah, we we doing just it? had this idea. We he just oh, brought it, it up now? and I'm doing we're it right doing now. Right right. Doing it right now. Just came say, up with this. Should we say it right away in the beginning or should they have to watch and figure out where why this vlog is happening somewhere in the middle of the vlog? I feel yeah, like well, let's, let's say it right away. So right. here's the thing. What we're gonna do, we're gonna record this on your on our cell phones. Right. So this is we're gonna this is kind of to prove that you can do Video, video for right very little dollars. I'm not right. gonna say zero dollars because unless you got your phone for free yeah. and your computer <laughs> that you're gonna edit it on for free. Right, but right. let's say you have a computer and you have a phone because we're presuming that most people have some kind of smartphone. It's 2016. Phone. Right, and if you're buying a cell phone, you most likely have a smartphone, and it has essentially a good camera. Now. I'm not gonna lie, there are certain softwares that don't work well with audio. There are sometimes audio issues with phone videos that are recorded. But besides that point, what we're trying to prove is that essentially you can use free editing software both for images to create your thumbnails and then also as well for video editing. And then on top of that, that you don't need expensive camera equipment like our 70D or even a GoPro, uh, which is actually not that bad, 200 bucks for that GoPro that I have, which is oh. insanely good. But that all you need is a phone and free editing software and essentially some kind of computer that you might already have. If it's a laptop, a desktop, a Mac, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this vlog. Everything's gonna be filmed on the phone. I'm gonna edit it on a free software that I will find in a little bit. Yeah. I There's haven't, I haven't found it yet. There have been, I, I have recently researched and I saw a few options. So I will check those options out. Uh, and then I will put everything in the description what I'd use to edit this vlog, which will be interesting. It'll be interesting because yeah. I wonder if I'm going to do how I do my my workout stuff. Because that's, Go, that's GoPro footage. That's GoPro footage. Well, that means you got to set up your phone. So I got to do my phone, which I've done before. Yeah. I've done the phone before. Yeah. So, yeah. So essentially, that's the point of this vlog. So I hope you guys get some kind of enjoyment out of it. No. All right. <laughs> I'm leaving his house. He's got to go to work. I am going to cheat a little bit in this vlog. I'm still using the phone and I'm still yeah. using free editing software. But I did purchase a phone uh, adapter, which is like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'm sure you can find some cheaper ones. This is just to make things easier. A little not, easier, right. It's Again, it's not necessary. No, no, it's not necessary. Because you can set up your phone. Yeah, like, I mean, like, like you, can, so. you can, like, yeah, you can set it up can that set it way. Up. Uh, and it'll record and it'll, it. Yeah. Uh, but this is just to make it a little easier when I'm doing something because I am going to go home and I'm going to actually have you guys join me in finding the software in this vlog. So I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, but essentially, it's just something you can pick up for a very cheap, cheap price. I mean, the tripod I'm going to use is literally the cheapest, I think, on the market. It's that silver little piece of crap. But listen, for a phone, you don't need anything need else. I mean, yeah, especially if you're going to be using it. If you want to use one of, my, one of my little three dollar little oh the little things little modular, little, little modular. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it's going to be just that's the way I'm cheating. It's just really cheaper things, and I'll show it in the vlog. But yeah. it's it's essentially cheap stuff. So I'm heading out. He's going to go to work. Uh, let's continue this adventure together. So we got to the house. Well, I got back to the house. Got my wife to order this for her computer because the card that's in there right now is an AMD 5770. Um, it's an old card. It's actually starting to go to crap. The fan's running really loud. It's overheating. And it's causing flickering issues on the screens. So we got her a 950. She doesn't need anything. She's not a gamer or anything like that. So we got her a 950. It's a 2 gigabyte card, super clocked. 
from EVGA. Uh, I do like EVGA for NVIDIA cards. Um, we might do a review on this. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this in her computer. And if you can hear... If you heard that, that's the fan on the card. That's how ridiculous it is. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Um, I might test it out. I might do some performance tests. Yeah, that's probably a good video. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, she did also get that. And then on top of that, um, we got her. Uh, she's a photographer. So we got her a pretty badass BenQ monitor rated really, really high for photographers and editors and stuff like that for colors so we'll see how good that works hopefully it works really good hopefully this card helps i get it there are video cards that are more for editing processes these are more for gaming uh, there are editing like the quadro i believe it's called we're not going to spend that much money this is a lot cheaper this will do what it needs to do we're okay she's got a calibrator for the monitor so we're good let's go ahead and do that video real quick yeah working on that video for the that card right now just got finished uh, testing the old card removing the display drivers right now in safe mode gonna install that gonna finish up this video should be a real quick tech video which I'm happy about um, hopefully it helps for some people but uh, yeah so should be done with that here in a bit uh, and then we'll see what to do for the rest of the day. Got done with the tech video and I did a quick on weird unorthodox unboxing which I might put that up this coming up Monday. Uh, picking up some things. Uh, the wife, she needs definitely a new CPU cooler because she's using the stock AMD one. Uh, this deep cool, I like it a lot because of the way it mounts. You don't need a new backplate. It actually mounts to the original system that's there for AMD. These are rated extremely high, quiet, a lot of CFM, low sound. Uh, RPM is, doesn't have to be high for it to move good amount of air. It is a 140 millimeter fan, but for two of them, that's not bad considering one Corsair costs that much and it only gives you about 7 CFM more. So I'm okay with this and it's actually got extremely, extremely good reviews and then I need more RAM. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Believe it or not, I'm adding that so I'm going to have 32 gigs and with currently with Adobe Premiere, it's going crazy and it wants that 32 gigs. So whatever it is going on with Adobe, I actually need it. Uh, for editing, but this vlog will not be edited on Adobe Premiere. I might have found the software we're going to edit on, um, which I will show you in just a minute. Just got done doing some gameplay. We're uploading that right now. It's actually Black Ops, so we're putting that up right now. This might be out before that. Yeah, we'll see. Um, just got done. A little bit tired. Might go get some coffee. Yeah, this... Oh, it's a little tiring. Um, let's do this. Let's get some coffee. Let's come back. Let's show you what software I'm going to try to use to edit this vlog. Uh, um, we'll go through the process of finding it. Oh, and while we're doing it, well, not go through the, I found it, I'll show you the website where I went, where I'm going and stuff like that. But while we're there, uh, or while we're here, there, here, I can't even talk, I can't even concentrate. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So I said earlier in the vlog that I'm going to cheat, right? And I'm going to cheat a little bit, a very tiny bit. Uh, if I can find what I am looking for, there we are. So the tripod I'm using, like I said, it's the cheapest thing in the world. It's, this is it. It's, it's a Vivitar, tiny little aluminum piece of garbage mount, right? But I'm going to use it for the phone. Nothing crazy. Uh, I hope that works. We'll find out. And this is... 
and this is the little clip this is what goes over the phone to put it on the tripod it should work I believe this is kind of going to be tough that's awkward yeah yeah so that fits on that screw perfect so I'm going to use that to kind of demonstrate the software I'm going to be picking up so I can have the phone aligned with that uh, and going to kind of go over that so We'll do that in a little bit. First, I'm going to go get some coffee because i got to wake up. Uh, sorry for the quality. That's the one downfall, obviously, on using specific cameras and stuff like that. The front-facing camera on this phone is not the greatest. Uh, I am driving right now to McDonald's to get my coffee. I need some a little bit of energy to stay up so I can work out and uh, finish up this vlog. Uh, the workout, recording the workout on the phone is interesting. I've done it before. It's not crazy hard, uh, but at the same time, obviously the GoPro has its advantages. But the whole point of the, this vlog is to show you that everything that you need to do can be done with just one item, which is your phone, most likely is what you're gonna have available. If not, you probably have a point and shoot camera that does 1080p video and you can use that. And, uh, and then obviously the free software. Now I do want to mention before I get back to the house and show you the software that I found for us to use that is free and it looks like it's amazing. Uh, from everything I've seen so far about this software after looking at it, uh, it seems like it's some amazing stuff, is Windows Movie Maker. You can pick that up from, from Windows for free. Uh, it's just like the, uh, the Apple iMovie. It's, it's essentially Windows' version of iMovie for their software and uh, it'll do what you need it to do. It'll put a video together. I don't know, since last time I used it, they've increased the capabilities of it by a lot, but it is not what we're going to use today. Today we're going to use something else and I'll show you that in a little bit, but right now I want to order my coffee. Let's see if they get it right and if they got people smiling again. Let's turn that off. Here. Yeah, can I get a, a large iced coffee and can you make sure it's quarter empty, please? What kind did you want? Oh, uh, just black. Black? Yeah. That's all? That's it. Well, 108 go to the last one. Thank you. Well, did he say 108? I think that's wrong. Um, and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Did you say second window? Huh? No, I don't know what window he said. Why do I do this myself? Why do I go work out at night? Because I'm gonna go say it's the second window. Because I like an empty gym. I like a gym to myself where I don't have to worry about if people are gonna be using what I wanna use at the time and I like to be on a good pace. I like to go, 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 keep my heart rate up, sweat. Uh, where a lot of people, they don't do that. They do their set and then they sit at that machine for five minutes, do their set, sit at that machine. And it's it's aggravating. It's annoying. I'm gonna say it's the second window because there's nobody here at the first window. Uh, but the second window has somebody sitting at it still. And it looks like either they ordered the entire menu. Nope. Hold on. Here we go. So they got two drinks. Oh man, I'm horrible. I'm gonna judge them right now. I'm judging them. I'm not judging them. Really? Two drinks? That's what took that long? Holy shit. That's all they got. Hi. Hello, Anoi. And that's a uh, large coffee, right? Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. <clears throat> want to wait on a debit card. I don't carry cash. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. You too.
she wasn't necessarily over enthusiastic like the last time last vlog with the other girls but she wasn't crazy upset she just kind of had like a chill face going uh, it's a little chilly it's in the 50s um, she had a chill face going so you know but I don't blame her it's McDonald's it's past midnight well past midnight it is midnight it's it's 12 30 all right it's 12 30 a night I don't blame her for just having a chill face hopefully she doesn't have to deal with too many crazies a night there's too many damn crazies out in this world all right so time to get back to the house <clears throat> let's um, and let's take a look at this software that I found and some of you might not be surprised some of you might already have heard of this software but those who are still you know trying to be like you know how do I get started I don't have the right equipment you don't necessarily need the equipment that you think you need is that equipment helpful of course the more tools at your disposal the better you're gonna be able to do but that's not the point the point is is you're first starting out and you're worried because you don't have the equipment that you want to start well by the time you get the equipment that you want to start it might be too late you might have already forgotten to start you might have already not you you might have already lost the you know moving forward for that you know the passion for it the passion to move forward because in this long process of waiting and waiting you sometimes just kind of lose it because you didn't never got a chance to do it so I'm trying to show you guys those guys that are you know coming up with a reason on why they can't start I'm trying to show you that you don't need all the equipment trust me I'm, I was in that mental state too oh I need this camera I need this tripod I need this piece of equipment I need this no you don't what you need is to realize that you want to make this you want to make videos you want to create and you technically have the tools to start right now. I don't know why I still am holding this straw because it's gonna have to be in my hand anyways. Um, so that's that's what this is about, is just to realize that you don't have to be in that state of mind. Because trust me, it's easy to be in that state of mind. What's hard is to actually push past it and do the thing you wanna do, in this case, create videos. And then once you start doing it, that's the ultimate feeling because once you start you're not gonna want to stop especially if it's a passion thing that you've been wanting to do but all right we're almost back to the house the McDonald's literally two minutes away let's go ahead and I'm gonna cut here for this part and then we're gonna see you where I'm showing you the software I lied before I show you the software you won't believe what just happened as I walked out of the car I opened the car door I step out, got my coffee in my hand, the coffee hits my door, drops on the ground, pops open, and spills out. And that's all that's left. Ah, it'll have to do. It happens. But it'll have to do. All right. Let's, uh... Let's get some uh, stevia and milk in this, drink whatever's left, and let's uh, take a look at that software. So as the computer is turning on, this is basically what that setup looks like. Um, so, little mount, little tripod, and we're going to set you guys up right here. And boom. Alright, so, stuff still loading. This computer's been weird worry about that later Microsoft so here we go so you open up your Internet Explorer or uh, your web browser Internet Explorer your web browser uh, hopefully it's not Internet Explorer um, just go to Google search uh, I do Bing Google it doesn't matter uh, the only reason I do Bing is because I get points for searching so what I did is free video editing software and essentially there's a techradar.com 
where it says best free video editing software click on that and it's going to start out with an introduction and you're going to scroll down you're going to hit next first one is called blender blender seems to be uh, is best known as a 3d modeling and animation tool <clears throat> but dig a little deeper and you also find a powerful non-linear video editor yeah sounds cool don't want it next one DaVinci Resolve which looks pretty good uh, it says combines a versatile non-linear video editor with Hollywood level color correction technology and they make sure they let you know right here that's no exaggeration it really is used on movies and TV productions around the world um, that's pretty good uh, it sounds really good once again not the one I want this right here is the one I want hit film 3 Express the reason they say Express is because there's two versions there's hit film 3 Express and there's hit film 3 Pro Pro is the one you have to purchase uh, that Express is not and it looks like it's got similar look to Adobe Premiere which I'm perfectly okay if somebody made a software that kind of looks like, the, like a different software and here's a little little uh, write-up of theirs for the software HitFilm 3 Express is an interesting video editor and compositor which is crammed with professional features yet still accessible to experienced home users the interface gets you off to a quick start that's a viewer there's a viewer, a trimmer, a media panel, timeline, effects, layers. If you've used a video editor before, then you'll already understand the basic layout and be ready to explore. HitFilm's highlight is probably its collection of 120 effects that are automatically color corrections, configurable blur and sharpen tools, simple keying options, and a good core set of transitions. I'm super excited so oh and apparently also or you can have fun by inserting quick 3d effects into your clip like smoke rain falling debris or explosions super excited i am doing this one we're gonna go to hit film 3 express hit hitfilm.com forward slash express i will make sure it's linked down below uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on start making movies yes yes we are and then uh get hip film for express right down here and click on that uh, this is not a demo we are giving you professional quality video editing and effects software for free ready when you are to get your copy of hip film for express tell your friends no problem uh, I will do it on Google We're just gonna go that way. I'm gonna hit share. Uh, what would you like to make? Uh, everything: vlogs, gaming, um, action, sci-fi. Not necessarily music videos. Not necessarily from drama. Maybe family videos. Yeah. Let's see here. Send me download. Well, I, I can't. I can't do that. I have to. Okay. Uh, All right, you got to also create an account. So not only do you have to share, but you also have to do create an account. You select what would you like to make with it. You can select one. I selected a few of them. Uh, but you download, you agree to the website terms and conditions. Sure, that's fine. No problem. Uh, send me the download. No problem. It does work for Macs and for Windows 7 or higher. 64-bit only, though. It does specifically state that the Windows versions do have to be 64, not 32-bit so that are those are some requirements but honestly your your software that you have should be able to be 64 bit all right send me the download okay sure i'm going to go to my email address here hey that's that's <laughs> Uh, all right, download. Uh,
download for Windows. And there we are. So now we're going to go ahead and download and then I'm going to install and then we'll be right back. All right, installation barely fairly simple if you've ever installed anything, this is pretty easy. So <clears throat> basically uh you open up the program, it's going to ask you to sign in with the account you just created. Once you create that, or once you sign in, it'll ask you to close the program and reopen it. Once you do that, uh, you just, in the upper left corner, you hit uh, File and then New. And then you get Project Settings. I am going to do uh, the ones I do normally for me uh, is Full HD, 30 FPS. Uh, you can do the NTSC or the PAL. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would just do 1080p full HD at 30 FPS. Uh, let's see here. So aspect ratio, you can leave it to what it is already set at. Uh, audio sample rate is perfectly fine. Anti aliasing. That's fine. Four times. Uh, shadow map size you can leave that at where it's at so we can go ahead and hit start editing all right so here we are basically this is your basic uh, viewer you got your right here to the right this is going to meter your volume levels so how high your volume is and here is your timeline your editor where you're going to toss in your videos and your audios uh, stuff like that here is your trimmer uh, and here is your media so I'm gonna go ahead and plug up my phone and copy over the media that I already have and see how it works it's the next day I didn't go to the gym I started editing the vlog and I was like, it's fine because I'm going to get this part done and then I'll go to the gym and then I got tired. I fell asleep. It is the next day. I guess we'll make this a multi-day vlog. I will go to the gym tonight. We are going out to eat uh, to Red Robin. I don't know if I'm going. We'll find out in a little bit. But I do want to mention I was using the program to edit with and it's essentially Adobe Premiere you know it, it's very close so if you're looking for a free editing program go with this because if you learn this and you want to switch to adobe premiere at some point i'm not sure that you would want to because this this free version has a lot from what i understand the pro version even has more so i don't know why you would but if you do it'll be a very easy transition because the editing process is very very similar if not almost virtually the same so Definitely recommend the program. I was already using it. I love it. Um, I enjoy it very much. So uh, I can't wait for you guys to see the video because you'll see that it, there's not really much of a difference. But yeah, we'll see if uh, we're going to be going to, uh, or if I'm going to be going to find out a bit. I am feeling tired again, though. Uh, I got plenty of sleep. Uh, caffeine time. Hopefully I don't spill it. got done playing with a friend of mine some Brawlhalla it's fun it's really fun I mean it's it's Super Smash Brothers but it's fun it's a fun game I like it a lot I think it's really cool that uh, Steam has a game like this because I think it can compete with the fun you get from Super Smash Brothers but I like it I like it a lot it was a lot of fun it's 1 a.m. gonna go to the gym see how we can get footage on the phone I did take a nap so I'm rested so the gym should be good uh, but yeah let's head out to the gym and see if we can get some good footage finish out this vlog style thing and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it uh, I hope you guys enjoy what we're trying to show you what you can do without having insane amount of money or insane amount of equipment you can just do it if you want to do it you can just do it you most likely have everything that you need 
if you have a computer, if you have a phone, if you have a point and shoot camera, whatever it might be, you most likely have the option to do if you want to do this, if you want to make videos. But yeah, gym time. First, I got to take a pre-workout to give me a little more energy. Even I'll admit, this isn't the greatest things you can take. Um, this one particularly is just really high on caffeine and uh, uh, certain vitamins and, and like uh, different kinds of supplements that increase your uh, energy. I wouldn't say it's anything terrible for your health, but if you have, if you're one of those people that easily uh, gets energy from caffeine, I would not recommend this. Uh, but yeah, so it's supposed to come with a scooper. This one, unfortunately, did not. So. It's, it's not a tablespoon. It's actually smaller. Um, so I just do about that. And uh, yeah. Fill it up with water. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. And it's uh, blue ras, so it literally is blue. little drip but it'll do yeah this should kick in halfway towards the it says take what's the directions take let's see here can we find it with the camera suggest the use 30 to 45 minutes before workout it uh, takes me about close to 30 minutes to get to the gym. I start feeling the energy about halfway towards the gym. We're good. All right, time to go. So that's it guys, I'm, uh, I'm done, just finished up the workout, it was great. Uh, I'm just going to finish up this vlog and going to go to bed, so I hope some of you guys got uh, inspired seeing that you don't need much to start making videos, especially if it's videos like vlogs and stuff like that. You can definitely do a lot with already what you might have, so don't think that because you don't have a uh, hundred plus dollar sliders or even more. Some of those sliders are like a thousand dollars or if you don't have a, you know, like a Canon 70D or something like that, that you cannot make your videos. It's not true at all. And 
I just wanted to make basically what me and Dalbar are doing with these kind of videos right now is we're just trying to inspire as many people to get out there and do what they want to do. If that happens to be video creation, this is just one example. There's so many other things that you can do without requiring as much equipment or items that you think you need. Now, there are, of course, some things that you just can't, but there are quite a bit that you can. So. Don't give yourself an excuse. Just go out there and just do it. Just push forward. Just just take advantage of whatever you do have and do the thing you want to do. Because don't let anything hold you back. That's the biggest message. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please do hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.